Miga is a 40 game, a game where there is a fourth dimension of space. So I thought I would show you what it would actually look like if you could walk through walls using the fourth dimension, and in the process explain what the fourth dimension is. So say you need to get to the other side of that wall, but you can't jump over it and you can't walk around it. But what if there was more to this world? What if you could just walk around the wall in the fourth dimension? So you turn to face along the fourth dimension, walk along the fourth dimension, and turn back. You discover that the wall has disappeared, and it's been replaced by a pile of rubble in the middle of the desert. Okay, before I continue, let me explain something first. So say you are this 3D character and you need to get to the other side of that wall, but you can jump over it, and, um, well, that's about it. But what if there was more to this world? What if the world was actually 3D and you were just a 2D flat character that could only move inside a 2D plane? You could go past that wall by just sidestepping it, but how do you do that since you're stuck on a plane? So you press a button to turn sideways, and now when you're moving left and right, it doesn't mean the same thing. It actually means moving along the third dimension. So you take a few steps and you press the button again to face the original way, but now you're in a parallel world that is further along the third dimension. So the wall is not in front of you anymore, it's off to the side, and you can walk right past it. You can notice that some rubble must have fallen off the wall in the third dimension also. You turn sideways and take a few steps to get back to the world you came from and turn back. Okay, but this little 2D character is only 2D, so unlike us, he can't see the third dimension. So what does he see when he turns sideways? He might think the world is deforming, but it's just what it would look like if you took 2D slices of a 3D object, like images produced by an MRI machine, for example. The world isn't changing, it's just being seen from different directions. So when he's further along the third dimension, down in the desert world, he can't see the wall, but he can see the rubble. And from the sideways perspective, he can move across worlds back into the grass world. But back to thicker problems. What if the world actually had four dimensions, but we could only see three? In other words, what if we were living on a 3D plane inside a 4D world? So you press a button to turn sideways. And now, when you're moving this way, it doesn't mean the same thing it used to mean. It actually means moving along the fourth dimension. So you take a few steps, and you press the button again to face the original way. But now you're in a parallel world that is further along the fourth dimension. So the wall is not in front of you anymore, but off to the side, and you can walk right past it. And you can notice that some rubble must have fallen off the wall in the fourth dimension. You turn sideways and take a few steps to get back to the world you came from, and turn back. And this is how you walk through walls, using the fourth dimension.